Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. And today we are in Proverbs chapter 8, verses 12 and 13. Tyler. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance, and the evil way and the perverse mouth I hate. All right. That was the wrong version. It was, but it still works. Um, so, <clears throat> wisdom lives with prudence. Um, depending upon your Bible translation, that may be translated any number of ways because it's a Hebrew word that they really don't have enough occurrences of it to say, yes, this is definitively what it means. So they kind of translate it by context. Um, but uh, I wisdom live with prudence and I attain knowledge and discretion. These are some things that uh, our society has lost. Um, as I sit here saying this to you, uh, I would like to say that I've always been the model of discretion and decorum. But as a whole, our society has abandoned the concept of prudence, discretion, and decorum, and uh, uh, let alone knowledge and wisdom. All of these things, though, come together. And uh, one of the goals that any church should have is to teach and inculcate prudence, the manner of wise action, the, the thoughtfulness, the reflection before you act, prudence, um, discretion and decorum. You know, we live in a time where everybody likes to plaster everything on, on social media or the news or you pick it. Wisdom says what? No. And someone, we need to, no, no. Where God says, you know, everything shall be brought to light. Go back and read the context. Jesus is talking about the wisdom of the parables and, and truths about the kingdom of God. That's what he's talking about in context. Not that, you know, every person's failings should just be whatever. So, well, that makes for... I know you aren't quite old enough, Tyler. But back when we didn't know everything bad about everybody... Uh-huh. It was actually a better country. Shocker. Shocker. You say, but it says here, the fear of the Lord is the hatred of evil. That's in you personally. If you have the fear of the Lord, you'll hate every evil way. David says it in the 119th Psalm. He says that, that because he knows the word of the Lord, he hates every false way. He hates every false doctrine. And, uh, Pride, arrogance, the way of evil, and perverted speech God hates. Point here. Why is that connected? Because pride and arrogance go with perverted speech. Again, uh, this this thing in our in our culture that uh, and. and it, it doesn't matter. It's it's at so many different levels. But, you know, well-known person gets up, speaks. They're lying through their teeth. They're twisting their words. They're playing games. And they just laugh. They're like, Pfft, I don't care. You're just a bunch of peons. You're a bunch of plebeians, a bunch of serfs. You're peasants. That's, 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 that's the kind of perverted speech we're talking about here and uh you know people well, no the nothing is better for us broadcasting each other's failures sins and weaknesses and in fact the book of proverbs says to not do that he says that wisdom conceals a matter not that wisdom denies that it exists but wisdom knows you know if i know something horrible about tyler or tyler knows something horrible about me how does it make anybody better better to share all that everywhere wisdom prudence knowledge discretion 
And the other part of this, and this just came to me, Tyler, the other part of this with this verse 13, it's the mouth that isn't prudent, that doesn't have discretion, that doesn't have decorum. It's the mouth of slander that slings that stuff. That's the, that's, that's the verse 13 mouth there. Do you have other thoughts on this one? No, sir. Do you have any thoughts on this one? Outside of that, um, we're supposed to already have a side chick whose name is um, Prudence or whatever else, but now it's saying that we live with Prudence and that we attain knowledge and discretion. So that means we're supposed to live with them to boot. That's it. That's it. So, so that means they're supposed to be permanent. Supposed to be permanent. Mm -hmm. Long-term relationships. Till death do you part. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we bid you good morning.